creepers. They explode. They erode the land and immobilize our game. So today, I'll teach you how to build a working creeper farm in Minecraft Bedrock 1.21. Here are the materials for today's build. Before we begin, I just want to make mention that this is an in-depth tutorial and I'm going to break it down for you in layman's terms. But if you skip through this video, you're going to miss out on a lot of important information and possibly your farm won't even work at all. With that aside, let's have some fun and let's build a creeper farm. All right, let's get started. So the first thing we want to do is build up 100 blocks from the ground. Do not build this farm over a river biome. So that is a river biome. That would be considered a river biome over there. Do not build your farm in those biomes. I'd recommend you build it over land just like this. You could build it in the ocean if you'd like, but I would recommend you don't. The best bet would be to build this over land. Now, you don't have to be exactly 100 blocks in the air, but you should be at least 100 blocks away from the ground. Okay, and to get yourself from the top to the bottom very easily, you can use an elytra. That would be the preferred method or water or just ladders. Uh, for this tutorial, let's just imagine I placed a bunch of ladders going down, or you could just place water completely up to you. All right, so this is our starting platform. So what we want to do is grab our blocks and place three blocks just like this. So one, two, and three bringing that out by three and then we'll do it this way so one two and three and then we'll go ahead and fill this in for a total of nine blocks if we're standing on our platform here so those are our ladders we're facing forward we're going to come over one two three and place a block right here we'll do the same thing but instead of going up three we'll go one two and then place a block right here so this is how it should look you have three blocks going this way three blocks going that way with a block sticking out over there and a block sticking out over there. Okay, so now what we can do is we can go to this block we placed over here and place a piston facing us. Same thing on this one, piston facing us. If we come one block away from the piston and go over two, if we come one block away from that piston and then we go over two, we'll place a piston just like that, okay? You have a piston, you have a piston, and then you have a piston over there. Next thing we'll do is we'll just place a piston right there. So basically across from this piston over one. So like that and then that's how everything should look okay so the next thing we want to do is place a block right here so this is our starting point remember we're going to go up right here place a block here and then take your observer and place it into those pistons so just like that you have your observer going into the piston we can place another block here place that observer going into that piston and then we don't have to do anything here since there's already a block place that observer going into that piston and then same thing here there's already a block so that observer going into that piston and then if you want you could just go ahead and break these temporary blocks right there but i'm going to go ahead and leave them for now and take your trident and throw it into the piston you can put up the three tridents in there i would recommend just putting one as i really don't see a difference when you put multiple but if you want you can throw another one so just for fun let's throw two in there and if you enchant the tridents with looting that will also give you better rates or you could just hold the looting sword next to the farm what we can do now is take a redstone torch place one here take another redstone torch place it here and really we're just taking them alongside of the pistons right here and then we'll put the last one right there now all we have to do is take a lever and flick it down just like that put it on the side of the piston right there and flick it down and that will turn it off all right so now that we have a trident killer created this is what's going to kill the mobs what we're going to do is we're going to come below this so you can place some temporary blocks down here and actually these will be permanent my bad um down here we'll place four blocks right under so one two three and four then come back up to the top break these four blocks just like that go ahead and take four hoppers one two three four going down so you have four hoppers going down into those blocks we placed and then you can break these temporary blocks right here that we just placed and then you can go ahead and place two chests just like this and then you can have another two chests going out this way if you want them to be specific it doesn't matter which way they're facing so it's up to you so now we have two chests like this and two chests like this and then up top we have four hoppers going into it this is going to be the access point where we get the item so if you want you can bring this down even lower and then like put more chests down here completely up to you you can even extend this over here if you'd like for the sake of this tutorial we're just going to leave it like this coming back up to the top we're going to place one block here all the way around so one block on the pistons and the observers going all the way around so just like this and then we're going to extend this all the way up by 10 so just to show you we have one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten and we're going to do that on all sides and once you've done all that it should be 10 blocks so from here to there you have 10 blocks going up if you want you can come down here and break these four blocks and replace it with tinted glass it just makes it easier to see the mobs when they're coming down now what we can do is come up to the top right here and in all directions we're going to come out by eight so here's one two three four five six seven and eight we're going to do that on all sides all right, just to show you that all these blocks are coming out by eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, all the way across, okay? So eight, 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 and eight. Then what we can do is just connect them like so. So if we drag all these out, they'll just connect across. So connect all of them across. 
Once all these are connected across, just fill it in. And once everything's filled in, it should just look like this. So to verify one more time, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, okay? From any direction, it doesn't matter. We can bring this up by one and then bring it out by two for a total of three, okay? We're gonna do this on all sides. The easiest way to get this correct is bring that out by three, bring this out by three. And once you brought each side out by three, we could just connect these across like this. That way we ensure they're actually coming out by three blocks. So as you can see, when you do that, it ensures that we're going out by three blocks. So that way you're going out three blocks all the way across and then just fill this all the way in. Okay, so now everything should look just like this. And to give you an idea where we are, that's the front of our build right here where we have the lever and then we're right here, okay? So these are coming out by one, two, three, and then these are coming out by eight blocks. The next thing we could do is just bring this up by one and then make that go all the way around. And once all that is done, everything should look like this. You have eight blocks coming here, three blocks coming here, and then you have one block going all the way around just like that. On top of your one block, go ahead and place your stairs all the way across just like this. So just like this, take your stairs and go all the way across. Now that we got the stairs on top of those blocks go ahead and take your water and place one water bucket on each stair so you can kind of just do it like this go one by one all the way around once you took your water buckets all the way around the water should be going all the way to the edge right here but it should not be flowing into the trident killer if the water is going into the hole that means you got your block placement wrong so just remember this is going eight blocks that way okay so we got eight blocks and then we got three blocks and then we got one block and on top of that block we have a stair all right and before we continue this next part is very important so please pay attention every other youtuber i I've seen that is advertising a creeper farm they're having you build layers inside of areas where mobs can't even spawn okay so here's just an awesome texture pack that we have this will show us basically where the mobs can and can't spawn so far i've seen every other youtuber they're having you build your layers in here and probably this is why so many people can't get their creeper farms to work because they're building their layers inside of an area where mobs can't even spawn so if a player is afk down there they're gonna want to build their first layer past this little sphere right here anything inside of the blue is where creepers will not spawn and anything up until the top of the red is where creepers can spawn. So with that out of the way, I hope you now understand that there's a lot of misinformation out there. YouTubers just having you waste your time completely building in this area. So we're gonna make sure that that doesn't happen to you today. And one thing I do wanna point out real quick, Prowl, a Minecraft YouTuber, I just wanna say thank you to that guy because he is the reason I figured this out. So with that out of the way, look at the front of our build right here. We're gonna go up to the top. We're gonna go to the middle-ish and then go to the right. So the front of our build is right here. We're gonna go to the right and on the area where there's three blocks going out, right in the corner right here we're gonna place one block and just to show you one more time here's the front of our build we're going to the right and right there and right here is where we're gonna place that block this block's gonna go up by 13 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 and 13 by going 13 blocks up right here that's gonna put us just above that sphere so that first layer creepers can spawn we're then gonna want to go to the left by 21 blocks including this one right here so remember that's the front of our build we're gonna go to the left by 21 so 1 2, 3, 18, 19, 20, and 21. So this whole thing should be 21 blocks across. We're going to do the same thing that way, including this one. So 1, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and then 21. And then make sure you're including this block. So it shouldn't be 20. It shouldn't be 22. It should be 21 all the way across. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 19, 20, and 21. And then getting to 21 here should line you just up to connect it over there. Now, this is going to bother some people, but it is not even if you're looking at it in a perspective over the water. But that's completely okay. Go ahead and break these blocks that we placed and then what we can do right here is we can place a block here and all the way across just like that. And then we have these going all the way across and we can just connect them all the way over there. So just like this, we're gonna bring them all the way down. Now that we have that done, all you have to do is just do it the other way. So then we're just kind of making these check boxes as you can see. So by doing it the other way, all the way across, we'll have check boxes everywhere. If you weren't able to line it up like this, like for example, it's not making these patterns, that means you just got your blocks wrong. So just remember, starting from over here, this is the front of our build over here. Starting from over here, it's going 21, 21, 21 and 21 and that's including these blocks so from this block to that end block that's 21 vice versa all right once your pattern is done it should look exactly like this and one more time that's going 21 blocks 21 blocks 21 blocks and 21 blocks so your pattern should look just like this now this is the part that i'm not a fan of and you're probably not going to be a fan of but place a trap door here and you're going to do that pattern all the way across so just to show you trap door and every other block would be a trap door just like this you don't want to put anything here they're going to only be one block across from each other so we'll do it on this side. Okay, once that is done, this is how your trapdoor should look. Okay, so once you're done, that's how everything should look. And I know you're gonna hate me, but you have to place trapdoors in here as well. So just do that all the way across and all the blocks that have a hole in them, you're gonna place trapdoors just like this. 
okay and now your pattern should look just like this so you have your trap doors over here you have nothing in this part of the build and then you have in all the holes a trap door just like that what we can do now is go on our platform go ahead and shift like this place a block here and then jump up and place a block just like that and then break that one and then connect that all the way across so to do that we could just do it like this and basically we're creating a ceiling all the way across and just high enough for us to walk it okay okay so now that we have that ceiling right there what we want to do is place buttons opposite of where these trap doors are so so if there's a trap door here, we're going to place a button, but above us. So right there, and we're going to do that on all the blocks that there's no trap door on, but above. So you're not placing buttons down here. You're just placing the buttons at the top. So for example, there's no trap door right here. That means we're going to place a button right here, just like that, as you can see. And we're going to do that for the whole platform. So a button there, a button there, a button there. And as you see that button, there's nothing there. So that's going to be the most tedious part of the build. But once that's done, your first layer is complete. All right. And now that we got all those buttons in those proper spots, so just to show you, no trap door. There's a button, no trap door, there's a button. So everywhere there's no trap door, there is a button on the ceiling. If you plan on bringing this up multiple layers, then what you're going to want to do is do the same thing you did on the bottom, just right there. And then you're going to want to take these trap doors and do it like that. All right, and before we can finish this farm, you need to decide how many layers you want this to be. For example, this could be just this one layer right here. You could expand it for these two layers, or it could go all the way up to seven layers. So to make this tutorial more fulfilling, I'll make this a seven layer farm. And as you can see, if we go up to the tippy top, that seventh layer is is indeed inside that red sphere. Okay, so the final thing we want to do is put a roof on top of the last layer. So for me, it's seven. For you, it might be five. For someone else, it might be three. So in this case, we're gonna put it here. So go ahead and place a block here and then place a block here just like this and then cover the whole thing in blocks. But before you do that, I do wanna point out one thing. If you put solid blocks like this, that works. But however, the game does have an exploit. So if you were to put tinted glass, not glass, but tinted glass, you can kind of trick the game into telling it that this is a solid surface and that we're not like underground in a cave essentially. So you're gonna get higher rates if the top of your build is out of tinted glass like this. So that's what I'm gonna be making mine in. And just like that, once you have your roof, what you want to do is take your buttons. Just like we did down here, you want to do that on the final layer as well. So anywhere there's no trap doors, you're gonna do your button pattern. So no trap doors, a button. You're gonna do that for the final layer, which is your roof. All right, and now that the roof is done, you can see we have the buttons up there. You don't have to place your trap doors like this on this layer. On the top, you're probably used to spamming a bunch of torches, but since we use tinted glass you don't have to if you decided to use a solid block then yes you're gonna have to go on the top and place a bunch of torches another thing we want to do is we want to come down here and it doesn't really matter where but i'm gonna go down four so one two three and four i'm gonna put a sign right here and we're gonna do it on both sides. So we have one, two, three, and four. We're gonna go ahead and put a water bucket here and a water bucket here. And this just makes it so when creepers fall from the top height, they don't die right away and you still get their XP. Okay, so now our farm technically does work at nighttime. If you want it to work better in the daytime, what you could do is you could take solid blocks all the way around and then basically encage this farm with blocks all around it. So we would put walls all the way around it. That way there's no light that gets in or you could just surround the whole thing with tinted glass. If you want to save yourself some resources, an alternative would be to doing something like this. You could bring this out by eight blocks. So just like this, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And you could do that all the way around your build just like this. And that will help keep the build a little bit darker in the daytime. Just make sure that if you're placing your solid blocks up here like this, that you are torch spamming or placing enough torches up here because at nighttime, a bunch of mobs will spawn up here. And if mobs are able to spawn up here, that's going to damage the rates of your farm. All right, so congratulations. You're farm is now complete so what you want to do is come down here and afk remember that if we afk even one block higher then that first layer that we built is completely pointless because it's going to be inside of the no spawn zone so to play it safe i would recommend afking a little bit lower somewhere like down here but do not afk higher than this lever and as you can see we already have creepers spawning in there we got a creeper right there we have a creeper right there and then one just dropped in and eventually they'll walk around to the point that they fall once the creepers fall they'll come down into the trident killer all you'll do is flip up the lever and that will kill the creeper and once the creeper is killed you can collect the loot in these chests below so just like that ladies and gentlemen this is your creeper farm they'll start spawning pretty fast just make sure you afk on this platform look at that we got creepers if you watch this entire video thank you my voice is pretty much gone so please leave a like and subscribe comment any questions you have down in the comment section below or join our discord server to be a part of an everlasting mending community today as always everybody bye -bye. knows that i'm breaking down everybody knows i ain't faking now everybody Everybody knows my heart's vacant now Yeah, she hates me now I made mistakes, but now I don't ever wanna be alone I don't really ever feel at home On my own